Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Today we're taking a look at the Mooncool TK1 Fat 20. Now I've had this for a while, so this video is a little bit overdue, but that's because I've been out riding it, having a great time. Let's take a closer look at this and uh, I'll tell you all about it. All right guys, I tell you what, um, you know when I first received this, or actually when Mooncool told me they wanted to send this to me, I, I was a little skeptical just because you know, there's a couple of things on it that just wasn't too appealing to me to begin with. I do have the TK1, and we really like that trike. And I thought, well, you know, this one's quite a bit cheaper, you know, three, $400 cheaper. And it's just, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Guys, let me tell you what. This right here is my go-to trike now. When I'm out riding with Mrs. Adventure or my buddy Ron or just wanting to take a ride on a trike, uh, out of all the other trikes I have, and I have about six right now, this is the trike I turn to because it's a pleasure to ride. So let's just get that out of the way. Hey, here are some of the things about this trike you need to be aware of. First of all, as you can notice, the front wheel is turned sideways. And that's because there's no parking brake up here. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, but that's okay. Let's jump up here and take a look. This is a 500 watt front hub motor. And I was skeptical about that because front hub motors have a tendency to spin out a lot. And I haven't noticed that. Only a couple of times, like in the grass and things, that I have a problem where the front tire spun out a little bit. Otherwise, it's been doing just fine. And that's a surprise because these are street tires. These are not big old thick knobbies. These are regular street tires. But I guess there's just enough weight on the front of this bike with the geometry of how the steering wheel is and everything. Just enough weight there that I haven't had any problems with it uh, spinning out. So I've appreciated that. Also up here, you'll notice this does have front suspension. And that's been proven to be really nice compared with other trikes that don't have a suspension on the front at all. It's very noticeable. Now, something else that's very noticeable is that this is a fat tire trike. These are true 20 by 4 fat tires. So not only does that absorb some of the bumps, I think it looks amazing on a trike compared to some other trikes that have like really small or tiny wheels, you know. So I think this one is just overall looking great. We do have an integrated front headlight up here, and we have this basket mounted up here on the front to throw a few extra goodies and things when we're out and about. Let's move on down the side here. Take a look at the frame. The frame is a little thin, okay, but they add this extra support right here to make it, uh, you know, a little more stable and easy and comfortable to ride. We do have a 44 tooth chain ring on the front, and we have a 20 amp, no, excuse me, we have a 14.5 amp battery right there that powers the motor. Now, moving up, they gave you this really nice, comfortable saddle up here with the adjustable backrest, and it's got an air vent right here where you would want it most, especially in the hot Florida sun down here that I experience. Let's move on towards the back here. We do have metal fenders, okay? And right here, we have reflectors that are mounted on those fenders. Let's see. Let's talk about this basket for a minute. Now, to begin with, I was like, yeah, I don't like that style basket too much, you know? I like the big, robust-type baskets. No, actually, this has grown on me. Uh, I like that basket just fine because it's nice and big. It's deep. You can put a lot of stuff in there. It doesn't have real big gaping holes like you find on some baskets. still has holes, but, uh, you know, for the most part, nothing falls out of that basket. So I really like that. Now, let's see here. The best feature, let's go ahead and talk about that. The best feature about this strike right here that's just absolutely amazing how it works is that it is a true seven speed and you can see the freewheel right down there. Guys, let me tell you what. When you're riding this bike, most trikes that are you know more of a compact style, smaller trike, they're single speeds. And by the time you get up to seven, eight miles an hour, your legs are spinning really fast, right? And it's just no longer a pleasure to try to ride the bike if you're trying to go a little bit faster. Well, this one right here, because it's a seven speed, it has a 14 by 28 freewheel on the back. It allows you to comfortably pedal this bike up to the maximum speed of 16 miles per hour, and you still have good pedal resistance. So there's no ghost pedaling. And I love that about this trike, because you can just pedal along and enjoy the ride with no ghost pedaling. Yeah, really, really like it a lot. One thing that's missing back here that you won't see, and that is there's no tail light. There's no integrated brake light or tail light or anything. So that's kind of a bummer. You know, we do have the reflectors and, you know, you can always get a flashing battery operated light or something. In fact, this trike may have came with one. I don't remember. I've had it for a little while now. So it may have had 
um, a, a light that straps onto the seat post or something but yeah something would be necessary to have back here and it's just a shame it doesn't have integrated lights but you gotta remember this is budget friendly because it is a lot cheaper than the tk1 and it's even cheaper than the electric xp and several other trikes that are on the market so yeah that's okay i can live without tail lights for that kind of price because you know what you get just about everything else you would need or want in a trike in this package right here sure enough all right let's go take a look here did i miss anything i don't think so let's go up here and take a look at the cockpit now i'm going to put my foot here to block the trike so it doesn't roll away and spin that around so let's look at the cockpit here we do have these uh, rubber uh, feeling handle grips here and if you squeeze hard and twist they do turn around a little bit there you go so you can see it that's interesting little air vent holes built into the palm rest area that's the first time i've seen that I, I prefer handle grips that have the palm rest they're just more comfortable to hold on to interesting it's got a holes in them we do have mechanical brakes and you know for a trike mechanical brakes they're okay you know I, I i do wish it had been hydraulic but if it had been hydraulic you know th this bike would be a lot more expensive and i think the current price is like 13.99 so it's hard to beat and you know what the brakes work just fine i haven't had any trouble stopping i don't have any steep hills but i don't have any trouble right here we have the display now the display is pretty small and this is an area where i wished it was different i wish they had a like just a larger display with a regular button pad for changing your pedal assist but what you have on this one right here is you have these two tiny little buttons down here right there and that's how you adjust your pedal assist up and down now it's easy to get to and the buttons work just fine it's just that i'm you know you're i'm used to having nice bigger buttons to be able to push to change the pedal assist the on button is way up here on the top so we'll push that and power this on you'll also notice that they have this text that's written onto the the glass or the plexiglass and you can't remove that so it's kind of in your way and i tried to remove it but it seems that it's etched in there and it's permanent and it just doesn't come off but it's just showing you, hey, that, you know, the power button is up here and your pedal assist are down here. But it's kind of in the way. The battery meter is behind that text, so it's kind of hard to see. But other than that, the display is colorful. It works fine. Don't have any, any concerns with it. Look, you know, we've been, we've been riding this bike a lot. And I tell you what, it's just, yeah, it's nice. Um, let's see. Let's move on across the, over here to this side. We do have the Shimano... Um, shifter right here this is like the lowest grade shimano shifter you can get i haven't had any problems with it uh none at all i mean it's it works okay the few times that i've changed the gears i typically leave it in seven like most people so i think it's okay having the cheaper shimano shifter because it's not something we're going to be using maybe if you have a lot of hills in your area or something yeah you would maybe downshift but for me here in flat florida no i don't have a need to to change so that's okay we do have a right-handed thumb throttle, which is right down here. Okay, okay. now some of you are going to be asking, hey, how does this differ from the TK1? Because, you know, they're similar bikes. Hey, go ahead and subscribe right now if you haven't, because I'm going to be doing a comparison with the TK1 and the TK1 Fat 20 here. And I'm going to go through all the differences. And uh, so that way you, you may have a better idea of which one is best for you if you're shopping for one of these trikes right here. All right, before we go too far with the riding portion of this video, we're going to go ahead and do a stability test right here in the driveway because I know that's uh, what's most important for some people. And so we'll just get that out of the way. First of all, you can see how I look on this trike right here. I am six foot, six foot one and 240 pounds. So, uh, yeah, just kind of gives you an idea. All right, so if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that the TK1 that we have, I have stated that it is probably one of the most stable trikes that we have. Or that we have ridden by far um, this one i think maybe it's slightly less stable compared to that but certainly it's very doable and if it was really unstable then i would have a problem with it but i don't have a problem with this trike because you just have to expect it and you kind of counterbalance with your weight now it takes a few minutes to get to get familiar with this trike and that's okay but any trike you buy you're going to need to take a little time to get familiar with it but I tell you what, look at me going on and off the sidewalk here. Yeah, my wheels come off the ground a little bit. But look how fast I can turn right here in, in the driveway or in the street. Whoa, there we go. Up on one wheel a little bit. Gave it too much gas when I was in the turn. See, counterbalance a little bit. 
and there's no problem at all. You can make a pretty tight turn without any issues. Just like that. Okay, one thing I didn't show you is uh, you know how well this thing does on a, a slight heel at least. My driveway is about a 3% grade. I've got it in pedal assist one. We're at a dead stop. We're just going to hit the throttle. And you can see it struggles a little initially, but then it takes off and goes. Now we'll do the same test, but this time we're going to be in pedal assist three. We're going to hit the throttle and struggle a little initially, but again, just takes off and goes. So the trike does pretty good, and that was without any kind of pedaling or anything. Now, if you're on a bigger hill or something and you need to help it out a little bit, I went ahead and dropped the gear down into fourth gear. And, uh, you know, I could have dropped it to one, but fourth gear is what I chose. And it's still in pedal assist three, and I'm just going to help it a little bit so we can kind of get going up this hill faster. So as you can see, it can take the hills pretty good. All right, here we go. Let's go for a ride. Let's talk about this trike a little bit more. So if you're concerned about the reach, it does feel like you sit pretty close to the steering or to the handlebars here. And that's good for seniors and a lot of folks because they just don't want to have that long reach out to the handlebars. So that's one thing to be aware of. The seat is pretty comfortable, although, you know, if you're a, a bigger person, got a bigger caboose, then you're going to feel like that backrest is pushing you forward on the seat. Well, actually, it does push you forward on the seat. So I'm sitting more on the horn of the saddle, and I prefer to sit back just a little bit more, so just be aware of that. And if that's a, you know, a problem or something, you may just need to swap it out with a saddle that doesn't have a backrest. I... All right, so let's see. What else can we talk about here? I'm just cruising along right now. We're, we're going to keep it in seventh gear over here. Uh, I've got it in pedal assist, too. I'm just kind of cruising along nice and comfortably uh, you can see you know i'm pedaling com pedaling comfortably no ghost pedaling good resistance we're at 10 miles an hour let's go ahead and just bump it up there's pedal assist three at pedal assist three we're already at uh you know 15 miles an hour and that's one thing i didn't mention is that this trike only has three levels of pedal assist you know one two and three so at you know Pedal Assist 3, we're already at uh, the max speed here, and I can pedal it comfortably. Hi. I'll just go down this way a little bit. You know, I've mentioned this in a few of my other videos. I'm not sure if you've watched my other videos or not. My handlebars are slightly crooked. I just need to loosen them up and adjust them, and I keep forgetting to do that. So everything down here, if you see my handlebars, my basket, my front tire, everything looks like it might be off a little bit. It's the... Uh, it's the handlebars. I just need to adjust them from when we originally installed it. Didn't have it dead center. I'm going 15 around this curve right here. No problem at all. Just lean slightly in the opposite direction to counterbalance just a little bit because we do have these big balloon tires. I'm going to stay away from the traffic. Go back this way. Now Let's just go ahead and stop here for a minute. Because we're in pedal assist 3, I'm just going to do throttle only. So there we go. And a little slow take up. But once the motor kicks in, it's like, okay, here we go. When we're already at 15. Okay, so we're already at our maximum speed. It only takes a couple of seconds to get there, which is pretty nice. There's my neighbor. All right, so let's just go ahead and do a brake check real quick. So you can lock the brakes up if you needed to. Brakes feel fine. Don't feel much different than some of the hydraulic brakes I have. And there's only one brake on the axle. You don't have a brake on each wheel like you do on some trikes. That would have been a little bit better, especially since they're manual brakes. Putting a brake on each wheel would have been, in my opinion, a little bit better. But hey, look, I'm 240 pounds and I can still stop this trike pretty quick. From maximum speed so no no big concern there let's just start off pedaling here here we go just get it right up there 10 12 14 there we are 16 and it drops back to 15 and that's where it settles in at 15 so you know rides nice 
you got these big old fat tires so when you run over things like manhole covers and things uh, you just kind of bounce over it and keep on going it's just a nice riding trike but the best part about this trike is you've got good pedal resistance and you know i can i can enjoy the ride i can pedal and enjoy the ride and i can get exercise this way because you know what you're already at the max speed right well you have good pedal resistance so i can kind of force a little more pedal into it and it, you know you feel all that resistance in your legs and it's just a good way to get exercise and whenever you get a little tired and you think you might want to rest that's all right just sit back enjoy the ride and use your throttle and just kind of cruise around just makes an enjoyable ride that's why i've been making so many videos of me just out riding this thing because i just really like getting out i don't think i pointed out earlier but this trike does have a horn not too intrusive or anything but still electronic horn which i like no of course no blinkers or anything like that jazz no reverse like you might find on a reverse function is pretty rare on trikes but there are a couple brands out there that have installed them i think all trikes personally should have a reverse i think that's a great feature <laughs> all right let's see here yeah so you know i'm not sure what else to tell you about it you know we, we talked about the braking we talked about the speed how well how comfortable it is to ride just not much more that i can say about it do i think it's a good value for uh for the price of what 13.99 right now heck yeah that's why at the time of this video they're sold out they sold out of this pretty quick but there's more inbound if you're watching this video anytime uh, near the beginning of march i heard that they're going to have some more in stock sometime in march i think it's within the next week or two so be watching for that but this this is a great value great great value for what you're getting uh you know and i'm probably going to compare this with electric xp too because that's the electric xp is kind of like the standard um you know it's kind of like the gold standard of these small little trikes because it's one of the first ones that came out and it's was super 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 popular and so yeah we'll probably be comparing it with our xp trike that we have let's see here any alligators out today no i don't see any alligators out today I keep looking for alligators to show you guys all right so guys that's going to be it for this video i'm just going to uh, cruise around here for a little bit and enjoy the ride wherever you are i hope you enjoy your ride today uh whatever you do get out there be safe when you do it uh, go check out check out the tk1 and the tk1 fat 20 at moon cool and uh, let me know your thoughts down below do you know is this something you'd consider is it uh does it have all the features you want is it missing something you're looking for uh, let me know if there's something that you want to see or maybe that i didn't answer and i'll try to get back with you uh, with any answers and uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video you guys ride safe <laughs>